Cardhop for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac has full support for customizable widgets. Let me show you how that works. I'm on the iPhone right now. I'm going to hit the little gear icon in the bottom right to get me to settings. And then I'm going to tap on widgets. And once I get to that screen, you can see you can have small, medium, or large size widgets with Cardhop. Uh, we're going to create a small one. So I'm going to go ahead and add a widget. And we're going to hit the plus button on the widget. And then I'm going to pick Lynette for a custom widget. And we are going to create a FaceTime call to her at her work number. And that's all I needed to do to create that widget. I'm going to go ahead finally here and give it a name. And now I'm going to exit card hop to the desktop. And to create the widget, I'm just going to go to the widget creation screen by long pressing on the screen. And I'll hit the plus button and I'll type card hop to search it. There it is. And we will select the FaceTime Lynette widget and I'll go ahead and click add it. Then I can tap done. And if I long press on that and hit edit widget and then click choose, you can see I have two choices, either a recent widget that Cardhop will auto generate for me with recent contacts or the FaceTime Lynette widget that I just created. That's the one I want. So I'll go ahead and create it like that. And there it is. Just like that, I added a custom widget to my home screen on my iPhone. Now let's take a look at this feature over on the Mac. Okay, so now I'm on Cardhop on the Mac and I want to add a custom widget. You could do that by going to the little gear icon in the lower right corner and then selecting preferences. You could also do it up in the file menu. Just go to Cardhop preferences or even just hit the keyboard shortcut, command comma. I'll go ahead and do that. And here are the card hop preferences on the Mac. If I go over to widgets, you'll see that there are widgets there and it has already automatically synced that FaceTime widget I just created over in my iPhone. So they sync between devices, which is kind of great. And again, they have medium, large, and small sizes. Uh, we're gonna create a medium one this time. So I'll go ahead and add a widget and I will add some people to it. I'll start with Lynette again, and we will get directions to her as one. We'll do another one with Gunther. And for Gunther, we will send him an iMessage to his mobile. Let's do one more. This one with Kelvin. And for him, we will send an email. And the last one will be with Joanna. And for her, we will also send an email. I'll go ahead and give this one a name. We'll call it Key Contacts. All right, and just like that, we created a medium-sized widget. Now let's add it to our Mac. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and close Preferences and take a look at the widget screen on the Mac. You can access that by clicking on the time or swiping over with two fingers from the right edge of your trackpad. I'm gonna hit edit widgets here to open up my widgets and then click on card hop. And you can see there is the one we created on the iPhone and here is the one we just created on the Mac. I'll go ahead and drag that in and click done. And we have that same issue here where we need to select it. So I'm gonna right click on it, click edit card hop and choose. And I can once again use the recent contacts automatically created widget that Cardhop will generate or the key contacts one that I just made, which is the one I want. And I'll go ahead and click done. And just like that, I've got my key contacts with various actions right there in my widget screen. If you want an easy way to get in touch with your key contacts, add widgets to your iPhone, iPad and Mac with Cardhop. <music>